good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. They crystallizing? What? The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Sad. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. Next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yeah. Yes. We should. Rip. Ooh, I can go in here. Hell yeah. Secrets in here? Stuff and things? No? Pointless? There's a lady. Nothing back here, huh? Oh! Look at that! Secrets! Worth it. Alright, back to Martha. 
to see if the rainbow chocobo is still there. <gasps> Did they change color? Like a darker yellow? Hi, buddy! Oh, it's a bluebird? Oh, they attack you. Oh, shit! He rallied his homies! It and I feel terrible. Ugh. Sorry, Chocobo. Aww. RIP. Wow. It really is. <laughs> it really like that, is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Dead ass Chocobo face. That's sad. I won't do that again. I don't think they even dropped anything. I didn't see anything pop up. Oh, I guess. travel <gasps> totally can no 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 I'll take the long way fight things as I go only if it aggroes me I'm not gonna go out of my way Is there anything over here by the dock no. Excuse me. Can I go over here? There was a turdy over here. That's where I was. Oh, we got the hiccups now. Excuse me. Can I talk to you? No? Wish I had a bow to call my. All right, back up. Fresh cut. Fresh cut. Where did you get these turnips? From over after. All right. Are you a merchant? Totally what is. After? All right, homie. I don't need that. But if you have something new, that could be cool. You're making me want to play this and my backlog is already so big. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really wanted to play this though. Ooh, he's got an orchestrian roll. I don't have enough money. Much obliged. Take care out there, eh? Oh yeah. So what games do you need to get out of the way first before you would think to play this game? East 8? Man, I need to get started on that series too. I have not played those games. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? 
I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. Uh, active time lore, sure. I haven't done this in a minute. But you need to play East 8, Tales of Symphonia, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Oh my god. You haven't played Xenoblade 3? Ah, I just finished the DLC the other day. <laughs> so good. No? Oh man, it's so good. You played the first two first, right? I would highly recommend it if you have not. I don't remember if we've had this conversation. You didn't like two? <gasps> okay, I have to give it to you, but the story is so fucking good. And the ending. You quit 30 hours in? No, you gotta keep going. Keep going. Rex is super annoying. I know. I know. <laughs> I hated him too. It's like the combat. Ugh, it's just kind of garbage to me, but you can get through it. Persevere. Persevere. Strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around weeping for those on whose broken backs were carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Seal obtained. The slumbering chocobo and know seal. That you will always be welcome here. So you think Rex is bad, combat bad, map bad, quest log bad. Like <laughs> it really is then. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Oh, she knew exactly who they were. That's sweet. So when did we get a new Dr. Stone episode? I know, we didn't get one this week. I think it's like a... Maybe it's a mid-season break. Or they just decided to wait one more week for the finale. Because I think last season was 12 episodes, but the first season was like 22 or 23. So I'm kind of hoping that this season's going to be a full season like that. But yeah, they left us hanging, man. No extra episode this week? What is wrong with them? Loonies. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sell those gill bugs. I just got a couple more from this lady. So it's interesting to see that bearers who under who are under the imperial rule and they're forced to work and use their powers, they end up getting really sick and turned to stone after a while. That's sad. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Oh, your hand. I did, yeah. <gasps> With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Oh, no. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. 
for everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Want to keep Nan waiting. I know she really doesn't look like a Jill, but yeah, I have tried a couple well, VTuber then. avatars before, but none of them, I don't know, just didn't sit right with me. They were cute and all, but I don't know. I've tried the whole camera thing and I didn't like that shit either. Maybe someday I'll find something that I enjoy, but for now, you get to hear my wonderful voice. While I play video games. <laughs> Someday I might switch it up. Or dump a couple thousand dollars into a really cool looking VTuber. With big o titties. <laughs> I'm joking. But maybe. We'll see. <laughs> hey, fix the bridge. Good job, Bernard. Good job. spread even further south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Man, he looks so good. And the puppy looks so good. Such a good boy. He's on alert, though. Ugly, ugly spooters. But thank you, Anz. I do appreciate you saying that, because it makes me happy. I love playing video games. That makes me happy. Get him. And you know what? I'll be honest. You're the first person to ever say that to me. Usually people gripe about a streamer not being on screen. Not everybody likes that. Not everybody wants to be seen and on display. You know, you watch all of these bigger streamers and, you know, they got thousands of people in their stream. And I'm such an introvert. I would be like, oh my god, that's terrifying. You know, to have all these people in your chat and they're the only ones that can see you. You can't see them. You can see what they're saying, but they can't, you know, you can't actually see their faces. <laughs> so it's just, 
very daunting. When you're more comfortable, or when you're comfortable, you have more fun and chat. Can tell, exactly, exactly. You got the occasional turd bird that comes in and kind of ruins the fun, but you just ignore those motherfuckers or ban them. That works too. But I've been streaming for almost three years now. The three year anniversary will be in August, I believe. And I've had lots of fun so far. Met lots of fun people. And we are going to fight another turdy. Another turdy. And it's going to whoop my ass. He's a fast, fast turdy. Look at that. Come at me, bro. Come on, let's not link the damn scorpions together. Alright, 50%, let's go. Ow, shit. I totally pressed dodge. Got Jill over here doing all the damage. Shit! Ow! Fucker. Oh! Damn it, I just fucking healed, bro. Alright, I really don't want to fight anything else, but... <sighs> XP is good, I guess. We get lots of AP for our stuff. Which I haven't touched all stream. Just make a Jill sandwich. You know, what you know, I was really disappointed with the remake that they didn't ever say that. It definitely wasn't Jill's sandwich. Forget exactly what Barry said. Look at these motherfuckers over here. <laughs> Kick him in the head, boy. Jill meat sandwich? I don't. I don't think that's what he said. I'll have to look it up. I'm brain farting hella hard right now. Get him. 
There we go. Dog I get. I'm gonna name him Torgal. Cause he's a good boy. There's a homie over here in need. What you need, dog? Over here. Excuse me. I'll use that lady yours. Curse my look. I branded. No time to have with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfries, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not well, there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Find out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the park to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. They'd made them mean instead. Marfa's no fool. So she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of him, will you? Sure. <gasps> Money. Yes. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastard just stood over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if he's safe to come across. All right, let's go beat up some wolves. Apparently, my babies. Oh, they're starving. That makes me sad. They just want some food. Jesus, how long am I gonna stay in the air for? Going around the corner. Whoops. Feel bad. They just want to survive, man. How to find this Bryce and let him know the road's safe. Uh, Bryce. Oh. Dude down here. I got you. You can come back now. How long that bait will last. Are you Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, Drew. Quest complete. Beast against beast. We have money. Lots of money. And a meteorite and more war right. Sweet. And we're moving on. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Ooh, shinies. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. 
This area seems a very different place back then. Is there gonna be any secrets here? <laughs> Would be cool. Is there different armor in the game cosmetically? Like I think your sword changed in the hill. It did. I've upgraded my sword a couple times. I've also um, purchased a new one. Um, let me show ya. There was a Garuda sword I made after I beat her ass. Stormcry? Yeah. Looks pretty awesome. It has like a green feather hanging off the end and the hilt is green. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's definitely not as powerful as the sword I made. The Gaia Blade plus one. It does look great. I don't think that his armor is able to be changed, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Can we go up here? No? There was a box. That's all I care about. Secrets! I know, boo. <laughs> <coughs> it's alright. It's kind of cool though, because his outfit kind of reminds me of um, Cloud's soldier armor in Final Fantasy VII. Except it has like this weird little side cape on his legs. It's similar, but not exactly the same. East Pool. We made it. Reminds me of Shield Hero. I love that anime so much. Isn't it? Yes. Now Fumi Iwatani. You're Clive Rossfield. He's a daddy, too. <laughs> it's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Aww. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Aw, she's so sweet. This better not be a fucking trap. Ah. <laughs> uh. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. Wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, 
her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Oh, his mother. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. No. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. He uh, might have crispy crittered him. <laughs> Oops. Damn. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death, that I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me, Killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others. Then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. Day in Dalmechia, I I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Remember that night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. No. You came back to me. Heavens must have a plan for us. Are they gonna make out? Screw in the barn. <laughs> we should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. well <sighs> yeah but he didn't know that he was a dominant man he didn't know he ah oh, this is so sad man so sad 
Thank you, Mediana. <gasps> Perhaps now people will not fear the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. Is this gonna be a glow up? How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Dude! Bro! <laughs> Our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. Oh His my god. In wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs <laughs> along with everything else. My lady bits are going crazy right now. Well, Holy shit. I'm very grateful for them. Talk Sorry about a glow up. You of your memories. Not at all. It's Woo. what your father would have wanted. <laughs> The sword did change too well. well. Oh yeah, they do. Thank you, Lady Hannah. <laughs> yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Oh. <gasps> oh. We should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. <laughs> Let me fangirl for a second. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I just can't with this outfit. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is something out of fucking Castlevania for real. <laughs> oh my god. Coincidence, man. When you were, and when you were just talking about asking about like upgraded go uh, like armor god i can't even talk right now this guy has got me fucked up oh my god the cape and the medieval look oh my god oh my god okay i'm fine i swear i'm fine <laughs> i'm fine oh my god i have upgraded armor holy shit You'd even give him a try. <laughs> That's the best. Oh my god. High five. Wherever you are in this world. High five. <laughs> well, like, far away clap. You hear that? The clap. <laughs> oh, I don't want to sell. Do I have anything that's better than the shit I just got? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, he's got a Kestrian old too. Yeah. There you go. I'll load up. Why not? Am I gonna be able to open this gate? Y you. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Uh, how about not? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastbourne. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. 
Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I well, Anne's, you have a good there. night, sir. Or madam. Thank you for hanging out with me and chit chatting. They I do appreciate that. Sleep well. Oh, and I'll see you next understand. time. You'll forgive his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwin I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. All right. We can do that, can't we? You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. <laughs> She's like, hell yeah. I could doubt that. <laughs> it's the best. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well, already, let's go talk to the people, shall we? Well, no. Unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Ball, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. and never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Alrighty, well, let's go look for other people to talk to, huh? There's this dude. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, uh, 
That old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> but often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregent stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry. Oh, already. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. All right, so this way. Tiny stable. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in East Pool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Long so conversation. That's how it is. <laughs> well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. All right. Well, let's go find this old guy I who has clearly lost his damn mind. Let's just concentrate on finding him. We totally were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, shiny. Another shiny. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Ugh, bugs. You can't leave them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Garuda, lend you! There, boy! Ow. There, boy. Don't stop. 
stabbed right in the face. for you so long that you finally came I'm not who you think Clive <sighs> yes pray forgive my long delay it's nothing your grace I prayed to the founder that you would come and at long last he answered Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Yay, we found the old guy. Safe and sound. Poor thing. Slowly losing your mind. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stay behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid. I would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Yay, quest complete. Back in the day. Alright, well, it is midnight here. Holy shit. I do plan on playing this again more tomorrow, but I think I need to stop. I've been playing this for five hours now. <laughs> I'm sleepy. But thanks guys for hanging out with me. I will be back tomorrow around noon, so I hope to see you then. Bye.